Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome to the beginner's guide for Coco Kiryu here. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, I play a lot of Potemkin and Guilty Gear Strive. And uh, going from Shri uh, Potemkin Strive into this game, it instantly clicked with me uh, when I started playing Coco. And um, yeah, I think so far, I think she's a really fun character to play. She's very challenging and rewarding. Um, I say that she's challenging. Is because a lot of characters in this game have a lot of tools they can utilize full screen and um you know uh, it can be very tough to deal with that or frustrating to deal with that as coco uh because you know she has like very poor mobility and she only has like a you know the only thing you should do because is, is your glide which is uh, you know still still punishable like you're literally just running face in it's more of a commitment button um you have you have to you have the dash you gotta like run on them you gotta jump on them it, it's, it's, that's all that's all that's all you got and uh, you got you also have uh, projectile invul uh, invulnerability moves that you could do to uh, close the gap on your opponent so again I think she's a really rewarding character if you can accept the challenge of going through the struggles of uh, fighting these hard characters but in in the end it uh, it makes you a better player so it definitely does reward you. And uh, that's why I feel like uh, Coco is a really rewarding character to learn in the end, because you know, um, you know, once you once you once you start grabbing people, like you, you can end a match so so fast. Like you just like off of like three four grabs, some shit like that. Like it, the match is over. So yeah, Coco is definitely strong if you uh, know how to uh, utilize her pressure correctly, and um, you know, like um, land her grabs. So uh, yeah. All right, so I basically want to start off this video by talking about Coco's pressure and and neutral. So, um, so what I, what I usually do most of the time is uh, I'll usually go for a standing light to crouching light here, and uh, that's pretty much uh, like it, doing this repeatedly keeps them on check, keeps them on check, and also they can't like they can't, they can't really like try to challenge. They can't really like try to like challenge this on like unblock because if they try to like mash on top of it, they, you they can like technically get a uh, frame trap by uh by standing light, or um you know you you can also follow up with a, a different move so you can do like two M or five M right after, and then that can also catch them off if they uh if they expect you to like go for go for something. Uh, right after your your uh your light jab pressure um also your like kind of basic like uh your basic like target combo like you're pretty much your light medium heavy uh light medium heavy like the heavy usually heavy buttons and uh with coco are pretty negative so uh her her standing fire her standing heavy kick is uh, like negative five and uh to make that safer you can do white coco here to um you could do white coco here to basically open up your opponent uh, pressure them or even try to attempt to frame trap them uh introduce a, a frame trap them uh, with it so uh, that and it basically reward and basically uh, doing this reward to uh for you know doing like being flexible with your uh being flexible with your um series of tools uh and a block string to, uh, you know, you know, you know, eventually open up your opponent and stuff. Um, the only weakness to this is that uh, I think most characters in this game, most characters in this game, uh, their normals are negative. So yeah, again, like they, they they can definitely try to contest you. They can definitely try to contest you on it. So just just be careful um, when you're when you're playing like uh, a little where you're uh, overheating and you're playing really aggressive and stuff like. Yeah, you just want to make sh keep that in mind that like uh, like doing this like on top of them, they can like challenge, they can like you know mash on mash on you on that. So so yeah. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is uh, Coco's normals. So um, so Coco's so Coco has some pretty good normals, uh, which uh, eventually lead all into grabs mostly. Uh, so um. Again, as I, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the, your sandy your sandy light on block it can go it can go into grab. Uh, you, 
by the way, uh, it's usually best to go for a grab if they're blocking, by the way. So, um, so yeah, our standing light is really good to uh, tick grab, tick grab somebody. Our crouching light is also really good to grab somebody, uh, command grab somebody. Um, our jumping light is also really good. It's also really good. Uh, sometimes, uh, I swear to God, like on block, on block, I can't land, on block, I can't land Coco Buster. Let me try it. Okay, never mind. I, I've died. It. I did it. Okay, maybe. maybe. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, so yeah, on on, on on your jumping light, uh, if they block it, then you can go for a regular grab or you can go for uh, you can go for your 214 H, which also uh, combos off. It's a uh, it gives you a free a free combo follow up. So uh, if you can you can do that. If they're blocking, again you could uh, do two one four heavy. You do a regular grab, or uh, if you have the timing, you can do the co you do the Coco Buster. But um, I will only do Coco Buster if uh, if it actually hits them. And I'm gonna show you why. So this, so we just saw that uh, I couldn't land Coco Buster on block. So this is on hit. So yeah, that's on hit. So if it hits them, you can definitely follow up with Coco Buster. But if it's on block, you can't follow up with Coco Buster. Uh, you'll have to go for you'll have to go for your other options. So like a uh, two two one four H two one four H, uh, or you can uh, you can do um, two one four uh, two one four light. Sorry, not 2-1 for light. 2-1 uh, for uh, grab. Or you just go for uh, reg a regular grab. <clears throat> uh, and then again, and then, uh, oh, yeah, and then again, uh, her Coco's standing medium is also, uh, that's also a really good button to um, get your take grabs, take grabs set up. So, let me see right here. So you see that that pretty much lands all the time, and uh, and what's good about this is is one, it's advancing forward. It's advancing forward move, so you know it it obviously moves you forward closer to them. Uh, it can it can catch them off off the air. So if they're jumping, right. Right, so it can it, it can ca it can catch them off the air, and um, uh, what else? It, it can break projectiles. So that's that's something I've learned just recently. By the way, is uh, you can you can break projectiles with standing medium with Coco. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the bot to shoot uh, like a bunch of projectiles out right here. Right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play it. So yeah, so yeah, as you as you can literally see there, you can break, you can actually break projectiles. You can actually break the projectiles with with standing medium or your boobs. So I I think that's a pretty funny, it's a pretty funny thing. But uh, it's definitely something you can take advantage of, uh, for sure. But uh, it can be a little bit awkward if you do it in a, in a real match. So um, I definitely still need to lab around with this. Uh, I still need to lab around with the uh, interaction. But uh, it definitely is something to keep note of. Um, let's see. Uh, her jump me, uh, Coco's jump medium is also really good, too. Uh, it's basically it has a lot of horizontal range. Uh, this move doesn't cross up, by the way. Uh, Coco doesn't have any good cross ups aside from like her uh, jumping jumping heavy here, which is her butt, because it's, because it's uh, you know obviously very ambiguous on where it's going to land, uh, depending on where your opponent is. So if it hits them, it's like a basically a free a free hit combo, some shit like that. <laughs> so it's a uh, it's really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, most of the time, most of the time when you get like a hard knockdown situation, uh, as Coco, um, jump you you you'll, you'll usually you'll you uh, oh my god you'll usually be um, 
be uh, pressing jump medium most of the time, or you'll be doing uh, jump light. So uh, to show an example of that, I'll go ahead and uh, let it roll, really block up the first head. Right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep. Right. So that's that's uh, usually how it goes. So you get a hard knockdown, like a sweep. You jump, get the you jump it and hit them with the jump medium. Uh, if they're low, if they're crouching, if they're if they're crouching on uh, crouching on you, uh, I guess you're if they know you're going for a jump medium and you see them crouching, uh, it's going to whiff. By the way, so if that happens, you go for you go for your you go for jump light. Um, jump light has a lot has a has very good vertical range, but it's uh, hitbox is it's just very shitty. So uh, you know. You have you have to be very careful about it, but jump light has a very good vertical range to like uh, you know hit them, and then obviously you can you can hit them with the grab or some shit like that, right? Um, Co Coco's uh, two Coco's crouching M or two M is also really is also a pretty good footsies tool. So uh, usually you'll be you, you only will be throwing this out if you're playing footsies like right on neutral and then like no, nothing is going on. This is a uh, really good to th this uh, her two M is really good to throw out. And uh, if you land if you land a two M, you can also follow it with a two one four L like that. So uh, that's that's uh, that's confirmable. That's confirmable on hit. And uh, sometimes you can, and also on rounds, and also on round start, it, it uh, two M will hit, two M will hit, and including uh, crouching, uh, including a uh, uh, crouching down forward heavy too. So your uh, universal sweep uh, that will also hit round start. But uh, generally, two uh, M is just uh, a really good button to throw out round start, round start, and uh, it la it lands. So. Um, uh, good, it's a good footsie tool. Uh, Coco's uh, standing heavy kick again is uh, you know it's pretty much the end of it's pretty much a combo ender combo ender normal move. So this is pretty much the last of you be pressing before you cancel into your special move. So uh, what you can do is you, if you get the um, if you get the if you hit if you hit them with a standing heavy kick, you can. Uh, you can confirm off of it to a, a with an air grab with 22M or 22L, and then you can um, super chat cancel it to do a lot more, a lot more damage. Um, you can also do this, do the same thing with 2H. Um, 2H is a really, really, really good normal anti-air move. So if they're like jumping on top of you, like if they're like jumping on top of you like this or something, like. This this will catch them. They they will be like, what the fuck? That cat that hit me? <laughs> like yeah, like it like if that like it like the, her two H will hit somebody and 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 it puts them like into her range. So doing two H is just it's just such it's such a good anti air move. I I, I can't express how good two H is on, on Coco. Um, you can also uh, anti air. You can also anti air with uh. Coco is standing light because it has a disjointed hitbox, but it's a lot more riskier because um, because uh, they they can recover really fast. They they get they, they can recover off of it in the air, and uh, if they're mashing like li like straight out mashing, then uh, they can actually uh, end up trading you in the air, and you just would have like literally no idea. Like you would just would not would not be able to react to it. So. Um, just keep that in mind if you end up using a uh, standing light as your anti hair is that like they can eventually trade they they can trade off of you off of it but um but otherwise uh you can get you can anti air them and you can actually get a full combo off of it uh, off of it of them in the air so it's really it's really nice um coco's a uh, crouch coco's crouching down forward uh, heavy again her universal sweep is really good um 
on whiff it's extremely negative <laughs> so uh this is where you're gonna have to use uh, white cocoa here to uh make up make up for the uh frames so um so if you like you hit it so you hit it you can like if you hit it, you can gently pull out with a command command area grab. So you can do something like that. Like here, I'll, I'll show you what it, how much damage it does. Like that did, that did like a lot of damage there, as you can tell. Of just the sweep, and mm -hmm. um, and on block, but on block, and block, you can also do white cocoa here. So this pretty much makes up for it. Uh, on whiff, it, it's gonna be very awkward. So try your best to not whiff this. If you do end up whiffing it, um, it's not the end of the world because you because uh, depending on where they are, they can either punish you or, or not punish you. But but yeah, just just be careful when you're um, throwing out your sweep. Um, Coco's jump jump heavy button, which is her butt. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this button is very uh, is very ambiguous on uh, where it's going to land. So, and, you know, it if it if it, like it can hit, the, it can pretty much it can interrupt a, a lot of a lot of uh, moves in this game. Um, it it it's definitely t takes a little bit of matchup knowledge to know how to properly use it, but. Um, you can interrupt supers if you're high enough in the air to uh, punish it and punish it in the air. Um, it, it can also interrupt, uh, you know, special moves or normal moves if it, if it, you know, you end up hitting them. And if it ends, if you, and if you end up hitting them, then then I mean, like they're they're hit literally hit stunned for so long that like it's literally just a free combo for you. So, like, if it hits them like this, if it hits them like this or something, right? So, like, if that hits them, it's like pretty much a free combo. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, uh let's see. No, I think that's it. I think that's it for her normal moves. So, yeah, that that's all of Coco's normal moves. That uh, she can uh, utilize. All right, for the next part here, I'm going to be talking about Coco's grabs here. Just as I mentioned just earlier, um, Coco's jabs uh, jabs are really good to um, are really good to uh, set up your tick grab. So basically, our standing you know, again, her standing light is really good to confirm off of her grab. Uh, her crouching light is also really good to cover him off her grab. Her jumping light, you, her jumping light is also really good to cover him off a grab. If it's on block, you would uh, use. Um, if it's not, if it's if they're blocking, you can uh, you can go for a two one four two one four heavy. You can also, you can go for two one four heavy, which is pretty much a free combo combo follow up here. Just like that, so it's free combo if you uh, land that grab. Um, if you do it, just uh, if you do two one four, just a two one four grab button here. It basically does the same thing, but there's no there's no combo follow up. Uh, you can also go for a regular grab too, like just a regular normal grab. I will also connect. Um, um let's see here. Uh, if you want to go for a Coco Buster on block, uh, if the light jumping light hits on block, you want to go for. If you want to go for a Coco Buster, you have to either hit it with you have to hit it with a light button, a jab, a jab here. So you have to either do standing light or crouching light, and then you go for your Coco Buster right after. So it look like this. Do it again. I actually don't recommend doing. I actually don't recommend doing uh, uh, standing light on uh, jump light. It's actually too slow. I'm like trying. I'm like trying. Yeah. So you see that it whiffs. Yeah. So crouching light, you can uh, land Coco Buster. Um. On, 
on hit on jumping light and, and no blocking on hit you can land coco buster very easily so if, it, if the jumping light hits hits them then you can you can go for coco buster and i think you can go for you can go for all your other grabs here yeah yeah it's, it seems like it so you can grab you can pretty much grab all, all of them uh you just you can you can pretty pretty much use all your grabs if it's uh, if it hits some. You just can't use Coco Buster if it's on block. So, um, yeah, unless unless you uh, if, if it's on block, then you you have to commit for the uh, crouching light, the crouching light. Then uh, that's when you'll be able to land the Coco Buster. So, um, <clears throat> her other grabs that she has is a two three six L. And she basically does a cartwheel, cartwheel forward, and you know, side switch grabs him. And uh, this button is good. It, it's a, it's meant uh, this button is really good. Uh, just in, it's meant to be a fast a fast grab. So it, it's meant to um like catch him off like really fast. So like if they if they like, they are about to do something but they don't have the, enough time to react to it, you can just throw this out. You can, you can do the you can throw a two three six L. To, uh, catch him off guard and uh, be fast about it and you know just grab them and then it, it automatically puts you uh, puts them close to you for your oki setup and um let's see uh her 236m which is where she writes her dinosaur this move has uh has armor on it has armor on it um it has some sort of armor on it uh if they have like projectiles and they're shooting at you while you're riding your dinosaur, it will pretty much stop you. It'll, it'll pretty much stop you from advancing forward onto them. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that like uh, if you're usually if you're doing it from like here, right here, and they're throwing projectiles at, at you, then like uh, you're gonna have a pretty bad time. <laughs> you're gonna have a pretty bad time because then you know they can they can pretty much jump at they can pretty much jump away from you they can throw like a they can uh, throw a move out a move out and there to whiff punish you um they can just do really mean stuff so uh, i would only recommend doing a 236m if you are uh pretty much cl uh, if you're close to them uh, i think 236m when you're like about like this this range here is really good if you're my like, full screen right here, do not use it. It's really, it's really bad, and um, even including on uh, the wake up recovery too. So you see here, it, it it doesn't even land at all on wake up recovery. So don't even try to do that. Um, uh, her Coco's two three six uh, heavy. Um, this button is pretty interesting, also. But um, she does she do, uh, she does the cartwheel. She does the cartwheel, but the, but her two three six heavy cartwheel um, is projectile involved. So if they throw a, a projectile at you, or um, yeah, if they end up throwing a projectile at you or something, you can literally just go past it and just grab them off of it. It's a really good gap closer, basically. So just like this. So if you if you know that uh, if you know that they're going to press something like press something like right after like right after you can uh, catch him you can catch him off guard with the two with the two three uh two three six heavy uh to gap close and then you know hit him with the coco buster which is uh really nice it does a lot of damage so i think it's about the same damage let me see i think it's about the same damage yeah it's about the same damage it's, it's about the same damage uh so um so yeah, you get a basically projectile in you with the cartwheel, and then you know it it performs the uh, Coco Buster right after. So uh, it's really nice. That's really nice. Get you know get your grabs, get your uh, get your grabs off. Um, I also want to mention two two L and two two L and two two M. Two two M is really good. Uh, or uh, doing combos, so this is usually you would usually press this button first if you're uh, performing off of your normals. So like two two H, so like two H, and um, two L is is mainly good for anti air. So you would only throw two L 
Well, well uh, if you're trying to air anti air somebody or um you know if you if you're doing your super chat your super chat uh special cancels just like that like uh if you're doing your super chat cancels like that then uh, that's when it's, it's pretty okay to uh throw a 2 2 l um she also uh, coco also has her otg grab is just, which is pretty pretty much a down uh 2 2 light plus medium or 2 2 uh 2-2 two, two, uh, two, two grab button. So this is pretty much your OTG grab. It's uh, basically, uh, you would, if you do this, if you do the 2-2 uh, the two, two light plus medium, you're you're basically giving up, uh, you're, you're giving up your, um, uh, you're giving up Oki for extra damage. So that's the, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, so dep depending on the situation, you just gotta choose which is more valuable: the extra damage with the two two uh, uh, light plus medium, or you just don't do it at all. So you can have the Oki steel, Oki still. So um, yeah, uh, and then uh, obviously, and then obviously we also have uh, Coco Super here. Coco Super is obviously, you know, it's got to be a command grab also. Um, her command grab is like, so I want to talk about her super. Her super is like frame one. Like, I swear to God, it's like, it's literally frame one, unreactable if they're like on top of, if you're like on top of them, like you, you wouldn't, they would not be able to react, react to it if you uh, are able to like, get the input off. Um, it also has really good range. And it has it has armor. It has super, it has super armor. So it just like it goes through like literally everything. It literally goes through everything just to like get the grab and like uh, it, get, it it ends up looking a little bit awkward if you end up whiffing the grab. But you have the armor. You have armor there still. So uh, it's it's still it's still pretty nice if uh if you uh, still end up whiffing. But again, it, it, if you end up whiffing, you you end up in an awkward situation. In a, in a real match so i uh, just be careful about it uh, on on when you're going to do your super grab but again if you if you're able to land it if you're able to land it it just does so much damage like look at this Three, 337 th 337 damage like that's like that's like twice that's like twice more than your coco buster so yeah, it, and you get like two of these. If you get like four, like if you get max, max, max meter, you can do like two super, like two supers, and like two supers will literally, like, literally delete their HP bar. So, um, yeah, it's it's really fucked up. But you know, again, uh, we're here for the we're here for the the big damage off the off the grabs. So, uh, that's what this character is all about. All right, so on the smaller note here that I want to also talk about is um, is uh, learning how to try to get on top of your opponents. So just as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video, is that uh, learning learning how to get on top of your opponents can be really frustrating to deal with, especially if uh, you, that character likes to throw a lot of projectiles at your face. Um, talk about you, Sora, <laughs> but uh, um, or or Botan, but uh, or. or Oh, yeah, or both on, but uh, yeah, uh, any characters that can pretty much throw a lot of projectiles at your face, um, it, it can be a little bit annoying to deal with. So how we deal with that is uh, there's a couple ways. So um, generally, a safe assist that I usually bring most of the time is a uh, Kiara. Uh, Kiara, she's pretty much like you can tell she's got the shield. Uh, she's uh, pretty much you know as you can tell, uh, she's got she's an anti projectile. Got anti projectile. Um, basically, if they shoot a, a, a projectile at you, it will literally bounce back at at them, and uh, they'll pretty much uh, take damage uh, if they get hit by their own projectile. And uh, she also, Kiara also has uh, this move here, which is uh, a full screen dash. It does like 160 damage um, if it if it if all, if all of her hits uh, land. But uh, it, but it's usually pretty reactable. It's pretty reactable, and uh, it also pushes the opponent full screen. So, 
Um, just keep that in mind if you uh, end up using that end up using that super uh, or that assist super. Is that uh, you know she she will pretty much drag the oppo your opponent all the way full screen. Um, some o other things that you can do to uh, approach your approach your opponent is uh is if if they're playing really aggressive on you, and then if they're jumping. And if you're jumping on you, right, you can do uh, two, 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 eight, or two, two, H, which uh, catches uh, it catches people off the air. So it's a uh, another anti-air move that you can do with uh, level one meter, and um, uh, it also catches people on off ground uh, or on knockdown. So so you see there, it, it knocks them down. But um, the downside to using 2-2 Age is that like you get a you get a good amount of damage off of it. It's not as much not as much compared to uh, doing 2-2 M and 2-2 L, the two the medium the light versions. But um, you ha you have to think about you think about it if uh, if you do end up using this super or this level one super or yeah you do the level one super is that um. No, you'll get the you'll get the damage off of it, which is uh usually it's usually a combo ender for that super, but uh, if it doesn't kill them, it, it it will pretty much just put them like full screen. So you have to like let that sink in if you want to let your opponent uh, be full screen or not. So, um, yeah. Uh, another way to uh, get in is uh, her glide. Uh, so, um, how I like to utilize uh, Coco's Glide is uh, there's like three there's like three heights I usually go for. Just one is the the ground glide. This is kind of like the like literally just literally on the ground, literally on the ground. And you're dashing towards them, and then uh, this is kind of like a like a like a follow up on Oki or a, a follow up on a hard knockdown. So if you so if you get them. Are knocked down. You can uh, you can try to jump can jump cancel to glide really early, so you can um, so that you can easily uh, get on top of him. So just like that, uh, it was able to, I was able to slide forward, and uh, usually if you're on top of them, once you slide forward, you can follow up with uh, with a grab. So you can do super, you can do super grab, or you can do a uh, Coco Buster. Just, just like that. Um, and also another height that uh, another another height that I, I like to glide for is uh, kind of like uh, is off the ground. So um, I want to be so you want to be like like just barely off the ground, but like enough so that like you can dodge any lows incoming, but also um, throw out a, a jump attack. So it's gonna look like this here. Right, so if you get the if you get the right height, you can do a you can do um you can do a jump you can do a jump attack. So usually what I like what I like to go for is I like go for jump medium. I like go for jump medium most of the time when I go for glide. And uh, if you're feeling a little bit greedy, you can cancel into glide again on hit, so you can get so you can follow up with another uh, another medium hit. But you have to have a good amount of height. For it, I would say so. Like, 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 like this. So kind of like that. But, you know, it just depends on um, how how high you glide towards, uh, how high you glide towards them. And uh, obviously, obviously, the third one, the third height that I go for when I glide is like I jump really high. And usually, if I'm this high, I'm not looking. I'm not looking to uh, do my two M. Because uh, it's very horizontal. It doesn't have the, doesn't have a ver uh, doesn't have a uh, two M doesn't have a really good vertical hurt box. If you want to use something more um, vertical, you would do a uh, light heavy. You would do uh, your jumping your jumping light right here, like that. So something like that. Um, 
You can also go for Bud too, which again you can you can cancel if it hits. But you can glide again. So if you if you if you hit any uh jumping attack, uh jumping attack in air, you can cancel it again with a glide. And uh, also, it does, this does not uh, face you towards your opponent, so keep that in mind. So there's no cross, there's no cross ups with uh, with Coco, aside from like her butt being like very ambiguous. So um, yeah, those are some ways to uh, get in on top of your opponent. So I think this wraps up for uh, the beginner's guide for Coco here. I do apologize if some of the things I've explained is a little bit confusing. Um, if you're confused, do definitely uh, leave a comment down, come down in the comment section, and I'll try my best to explain um, what you're confused on. Um, but other than that, uh, I do apologize. I do, I do apologize that this video was uh, a little bit long because. Uh, if there's so much I can there's so much I can explain in uh, one video, and, it's, and especially the, since this game is still fairly new, there's still more sh uh, stuff to come out. So we'll be so we'll save it for the the future uh, if I do plan on making more content of this game. But um, yeah, appreciate you all for uh, watching it. If you watched it to the end, if you liked the video, definitely give the video a like. And if you like the con if you like my content, uh, subscribe for more. Um, I also do live streaming on Twitch, so uh, I stream a variety of games. I like to do sometimes I like to stream uh, fighting game sets on stream. So if you guys want to like uh, run run some sets with me, um, definitely check out my Twitch whenever I'm live, and uh, you know we'll we'll, run, we'll play some. So yeah. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys all for watching, and uh, have a. Have a good time, Coco Bustin' people.